Hi, I'm Lisa, and it has been a long time, but welcome back to my Fat React series. If you don't know, my Fat React series is me reacting to different aspects of health culture. This includes the fat acceptance community, the fitness community, as well as popular health and beauty trends. And what is the most popular health and beauty trend today? Well, that might just be Ozempic. And it just seems like everybody and their mother is on it right now or it's implied they're on it, or they're saying, I went to the doctor and I lost weight, and I swear, like, so many celebrities are just, like, slimming down. Like, and I think what makes it so intriguing is that so many of these celebrities were formerly very, you know, body positive, like, I'm a big girl, or like my chubby husband kind of people, and, and now they're, like, all suddenly losing weight, which kind of goes against the narrative that they've been spouting for the last few years. Um, I think it's really hearkening to the end of the fat acceptance culture and fat acceptance movement. Because if you don't have, you know, popular mainstream support, where can your movement go anyways? But yeah, let's talk about Ozempic. I have lost 70 pounds. Um, I still have a lot more to lose, but you know, 70 pounds is a lot of weight to lose. And I am not on any weight loss drugs. I'm not on Ozempic, I am not on Fentramine. I'm doing this the old fashioned way, eating very healthy, cutting out certain things from my diet and calorie cutting. But it, it's been said for the last couple of decades, like, oh, it's just impossible to lose weight. I can't do it. Or people will lose a drastic amount of weight and then they'll just gain it back. Like you'll see all these different celebrities, they'll slim down, bounce back, slim down, bounce back over and over and over again. But everyone seems to be slimming down right now at roughly the same time. And I can think of a few people just off the top of my head. There's Jesse Plemons, he's married to Kristen Dunst. There's Kelly Clarkson, who very interestingly said in an interview, she's like, oh, everyone's wondering about my weight loss. Well, really, it's just, I just started listening to my doctor. I found out I was pre-diabetic and I just started listening to my doctor and eating what I was supposed to and exercising um, how much I was supposed to. And it's kind of like, and I don't want to say this for sure. I don't want to get Kelly Clarkson to come for me. <laughs> don't sue me. Um, but allegedly, allegedly, if someone is pre-diabetic and they're overweight, what is that number one weight loss drug offered to people who are pre-diabetic? It's Ozempic. And it just seems like some people who are pre-diabetic and celebrities are being offered this drug. And it's kind of like hush-hush. We've heard some celebrities talk about it. Like Amy Schumer said that she was on it for a bit, but she stopped because of the side effects, which uh, people are not talking about enough. Um, Ozempic has some side effects that are causing like mental health issues um, and, and other really bad physical side effects. And yet we just keep pushing it over and over and over again on people saying this is the miracle weight loss drug. As you can clearly say, I am not pro Ozempic. And as you can uh, clearly gather from my channel, I am also not pro like you need to like grit down and bear it and push through the weight loss. No, I think weight loss can be easy. It, it, not that it isn't work, but it's not, it doesn't have to be very, very hard work. But at the same time, it's not impossible. And I, that's where I found myself. Yes, I've lost 70 pounds over the last two years. I have another about 100 pounds to go. And by that point, I'm going to be pretty close to my goal weight. And, um, and I'm doing pretty well. I exercise a bunch. I, I calorie cut and I'm eating healthy. Um, despite the horrible accident I had, you can see the scars there. I'm gonna cover with makeup, but um, in case you don't know, watch my previous video. I was in an accident, I got a head injury. Um, and despite all the hormonal issues, I'm still doing well and I'm pushing forward. But I, I keep seeing, I feel, I feel like Ozempic is like, it's coming at me from every angle, right? Like there's, it's in the Facebook ads, some Twitter ads, it's, um, it's everywhere. And I feel like a lot of celebrities right now are on it and they're just not talking about it out loud because they don't wanna make you think like, oh, I did this by myself. I didn't do this with help because it kind of makes them look weak or that they're relying on the system for something or they don't wanna accidentally promote a drug that they're not quite sure of. And that's what breaks me to reaction today. Um, Melissa McCarthy posted some photos that you can see here and as you can tell she's like she's pretty slimmed down from what she used to be. You know she's kind of gone up and down. She's one of those celebrities that's gained some weight, lost some weight, has had that, um, has been kind of well known for having a larger body size and then but now she's slimmed down and I would not be surprised if she was on Ozempic allegedly. Allegedly on Ozempic. Um, <laughs> Which brings me to this comment by Barbara Streisand. She's like, she sees her, her with this guy and she says, give him my regards. Did you take Ozempic? Like right out there for everyone to see. 
Barbara, why? <laughs> Barbara, how embarrassing. Like, this is like the example of people of a certain age using social media and then not realizing they're in private messages. Uh, I would just be horrified. If, if I was like on Twitter and my mom commented on there, like a great job losing weight, Lisa. Did you just lose epic? Like just in front of everyone. I mean, and it's even worse because like, who knows if Barbara and Melissa McCarthy are even friends. Like, <laughs> that's insane. And so I post, I shared that with my friend Alex. <laughs> I was like, did you see this? Do you see how like, horrifying this is. I would be, I would crawl under a rock. And it seems like Barbara Streisand <laughs> um, decided not to crawl under the rock. It, instead, she she was like, she posted a response. She's like, OMG, I went on Instagram to see the photos you posted of the beautiful flowers I received for my birthday. Below them was a photo of my friend, Melissa McCarthy, who I sang with on my encore album. So I guess they are friends. Okay. Um, she looked fantastic. I just want to pay her a compliment. I forgot the world is reading. At the same time, <laughs> let's look again at what she said. Give him my regards. Did you take Ozempic? Where's the compliment? She didn't say, you look great, Melissa. She asked, are you on drugs? <laughs> and I just like, it just it just reminded me, I was like, all oh, the celebrities, slim downs are coming back. But you know, here's the thing is I'm, I want people to lose weight. I want people to be of a healthy size. Um, I don't, I, I, but I also don't like this kind of cover up of people losing weight and then not being honest about how they lost it. Or, and I feel like, and I feel like this comment here kind of perfectly describes that culture. They're, they're, people in Hollywood, they're all on it. They're all on it and they're asking each other about it. And it's gonna trickle down to the population and soon everybody you know and your mother's gonna be on it too. And we don't really even know that much about it, other than the videos that I see online of, of people saying, hey, it's wonderful, it's a miracle cure. And the people are saying, yeah, I almost unalived myself on it because it made me so horrifically depressed because it is a hormonal based drug. And here's another thing too, is I watched a lot of like, um, I watched a, like a really long interview on it, which I almost posted on my channel, but it was like way too long, um, where the one of the leading doctors that prescribes this drug She's like, she prescribes it and you have to do it in coordination with diet and, and muscle building. And I'm like, well, why don't you just diet and muscle build and not go on the Ozempic? And it's really kind of crazy to me that our health, like culture has gotten to the point where we we can't blame the American dietary industry because the, what the government says is, is, is gold. It cannot be argued with. Um, we have to trust it at all costs, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then we just all keep gaining weight, right? Uh, then, but then we can't question popular diets like, you know, low carb and stuff, and then wonder why people are still not losing weight long term. Um, so we almost have to resort to taking medications to lose weight. I mean, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's like people are actually buying into this, this really flawed theory that weight loss is impossible. And I feel like instead of actually looking at the food that we're eating, looking how we grow our food and how we distribute our food and how we preserve our food and how much we're eating and how much of what type of food we're eating. No, we just have to jump directly to injecting yourself in the stomach with a hormonal diabetic drug to lose weight. We don't even know what the long-term effects of this is. Like, do you take it forever? Do you stop taking it and regain the weight? Do you stop taking it and do the, the healthy, like habits that you've you've created, such as eating more healthy and and building muscle, <laughs> um, are are those the things that keep you your, your weight loss sustained? Because then, what did the drug even do? I feel like it's just an appetite suppressant at this point, with some really shady side effects. And I really want to look at what is the decade long progress. What does it look like? What does it look like in two decades? Because right now I feel like it's a drug that we're prescribing to a lot of people. A lot of people who are not its original intended um, recipients. And we're kind of just going, yay, weight loss. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <sighs> but yeah, anyways, Barbara. <laughs> it's so cringe, it's so horrifying. I don't know what I would do if I was in that situation. I'd probably just like delete my social media and just pray people forgot about me. But anyways, that's my, uh, that's my reaction for today. 
pie. I don't know what I would do. Uh, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.